Hey, 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 this is your girl, Queen T, a.k.a. real name, Tana White. So just from the people that's coming on that may not know who I am, um, about my channel, my channel, we I do makeup, I do vlogs, I do every, every and anything I try to, but things that I enjoy doing, I'm a person that loves doing my own makeup, so I record myself doing my own makeup, um, I'm an inspirational person, my name is Tana White. Um, I am a mom to a two-year-old baby girl, beautiful baby girl, uh, a college graduate. Um, I am the co-podcaster of a podcast called Moms Not Alone. I'm just, you know, I have a good job. I'm just, I work from home. And right now, but we're actually about to go back into the office, but... I just wanted to take the time, you already see the title, I just wanted to take the time to tell you about the gastric sleeve surgery that I did get. So anybody that's out there that's thinking about getting the surgery, they got the surgery and just want to find somebody that can talk about their experience, find somebody that you can relate to by their experience. Like I said, when I was thinking about getting the surgery, I was actually on YouTube looking up people and seeing how did it work for them how did their body take to it? How, what is their journey? I actually did find a lady on here that I am subscribed to that I pretty much like go with her through her journey and see the weight loss that she does and the advice that she gives and what works for her. One thing I will say is that this is your journey. Don't let nobody take that away from you. Um, everybody's journey is different. So I am a part of a support group and there are things that sometimes they try to tell you, you know, people say, okay, you can't eat that. You can't do that. Or, you know, you have to try this. You got to try that. And what I learned is, you know, for example, in the beginning, you have to eat sugar-free stuff, um, sugar-free popsicles, sugar-free jello, puddings. Um, that doesn't work for me right no more. It may have worked for me in the very beginning. It doesn't work. It just does something to my body, the sugar-free stuff. So I, I either whether not have the sugar-free or eat the the actual real stuff every once in a while. Like water ice. I'd rather either just eat the regular water ice or just not eat water ice at all because the sugar-free stuff doesn't work for me. Um, so the first question that may be a question to the people that know me, the people that don't know me, is why did you decide to get the gastric sleeve surgery? But we're going to say what the gastric sleeve surgery is to the people that don't know it. So the gastric sleeve surgery is a procedure that reduces the size of your stomach, which limits the amount of food that you can eat to help you lose weight. So I decided to get it. Why did I decide to get it? Um, I could say almost two years ago, I had my daughter and, you know, I... Once I had my daughter, I was kind of going back to my body. And then literally a few months after that, COVID happened. And, you know, from being a stay-at-home home mom and COVID and being forced to stay in the house, it was like, okay, um, you know, I kind of just pick up an eating habit. And then I landed a good job. And because of COVID, I was work I'm working from home. So it caused me to kind of just put on weight. And I put on weight. And... I wasn't confident within myself because one thing about me, I'm very big on my appearance. Um, I just, I like to dress good, like to feel good. I love fashion. I love the way my body looks in certain outfits. And the fact that I was kind of losing control of my weight, that bothered me. And it put me kind of through a little depression. And I learned about the surgery because I know people that my loved ones got the surgery. And I know other people that were my age in college that got the surgery and I I kind of made it in my mind that I wanted to get the surgery and I was praying on it. It was literally, it was a struggle because I was praying on it. I didn't have the, I didn't have the greatest support when like my family didn't really support the decision because they just felt like Tanya, you're so young, you could do it the natural way. And you know, if anybody that is getting the surgery or that has gotten surgery, you know that it's not easy to just do it the natural way. Everybody's bodies are different everybody's mindsets are different it's not always easy to get up 6 a.m and go to the gym like I said I work from 7 a.m I get off at 3 p.m and I also have a baby girl so you know it's not as easy now me and my boyfriend work together you know if 
to help each other go to the gym, but I can't go to the gym as often as I would like or often as I want to. Now, I'm finding ways that I can probably go to the gym more often, um, but it's just not as easy. You know, eating healthy is not as easy as everybody says it is. It's just not. You know, it, it takes some process. It takes some mind control and just a lot. You know, you could do it, but it's not easy for everybody. So, like I said, going into it, I didn't really have the greatest support. And I literally canceled one of my appointments because I, of fear and because of I, did, I was afraid of what other people was going to think and everything. And then I just kind of came to a point where I was just like, you know what? I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing it for anybody else. I'm doing it for me to be confident. I'm saying that it's not easy. I prayed on it. Of course, family comes around because they always do. Who was right beside me when I got my surgery was my mommy. Um, who called me was my family. So, you know, they came around. And I did get my surgery on November the 2nd of 2021. And from November the 2nd to now, um, I had actually, what, I think a week or two ago, I had my six-month checkup. I lost 50 pounds within six months. Now, when I first got the surgery and two weeks after my surgery, I lost 30 pounds. So it is normal to have stalls in your journey. Um, of course, if, if I'm losing weight, if I'm losing weight two weeks from my surgery, I lost 30 pounds. Obviously, there was a stall within the months to come because I lost 50 pounds. So that's still a big accomplishment. I'm seeing more so the weight within my clothes. Um, one thing about me, the biggest I've been was an extra large prior. And then when I was getting bigger, it was like I was in the plus size. I've never been a plus size. And in certain clothes, I had to get like a 2X. So I was around like 2X, 1X. And in certain cuts and certain like clothing companies, I was I couldn't even fit into a 3X. Now, it may have not have looked like I have. Could have been that big, but I was. And, you know, I just wasn't the most confident person at that time. So that is why I really decided to um, get the surgery. And I'm going to be documenting my journey. I'm going to be taking you along with me through my journey of working out, the foods I eat, um, my mindset. You know, I'm going to have times where I'm just going to sit in front of the camera and just tell you how I'm feeling, you know. And to the people out there that have gotten it or are in the beginning of the stage of getting it, like I know it's hard, especially when you first get the surgery and you're only limited to protein shakes, water and sugar free jellos and sugar free puddings, you know, but you will get through it. I'm someone that is six months out. It was very difficult and not being able to eat a lot. And, you know, it's like, OK, that dang, I don't even want to eat if I can't eat a lot. Um, but don't give up. You know, you're going to get there. And also what I can say is to, to the ones that fell down on bad habits, I'm near. I, there are times I fall down. I may have a few chips in here and there. Don't beat yourself up. Just get back on track. Um, like I said, it's your personal journey. The things that you eat is your personal journey. One thing I do stick by is I do, um, I do premier protein shakes, which I love them. Um, I try to stay on track with that. So for breakfast, I had my premier protein shake. Um, and I try to do like maybe like an actual meal for dinner. So I may even, you know, for lunch, it may be something real light for lunch. But for dinner, that's where I may do like my vegetables, cut them up, my squash, my zucchini, my onions, chop it up, put a little olive oil in the pan, put it in there. And I may do like a salmon, a chicken some fish, like some type of meat with the vegetables. I kind of don't really want to go to the sides. Everybody talk about how good cauliflower rice is. I tried it, didn't like it. I might got to try it again, you know, maybe another brand, see if I like it. But, you know, like I said, it's literally your journey. Some people talk about how good sugar-free stuff, and like I said, sugar-free stuff doesn't, um, certain sugar-free stuff don't work out for me. Um, I may start spitting up. You know, it just don't work out for me. It's like I might as well do the real stuff because I, I can take that a little bit better. But portion size, nothing's wrong with portion size. Um, like I'm kind of just always going to say it's a journey. You have to find what works for you, what doesn't work for you. Don't get discouraged because like I said, I am a part of a um, support group and we are we do support each other. But you learn that everybody's journey is different. What they take, what they do. What I can say that has helped me 
is my air fryer, my crock pot, which I've had before. I got, well, I had the, I actually wound up getting the air fryer after I had the surgery, but I always had the crock pot. But that stuff helps you because with the crock pot, not only does it make the chicken real soft, it makes it great and good. So if you're in the beginning of the stages and you're thinking about like, you know, you want to do soft chicken. How do I make it soft? Because I know that is in the packet that you have to have soft chicken. So like I said, there's so much things that I could talk about, so much things that I can touch base on, that I will touch base on. This is not going to be the last video because I want y'all to come to the journey with me. Anybody that needs someone that they want to see their journey and how they're doing, come on in. So um, please ask questions. Any questions you have, I will do a video on it talking about my journey or different things I'll talk about. I'll talk about the things I use, the equipment and stuff I use as far as the crock pots, the air fryers. I'm going to show you how I cook. I also have a cook a cookbook, um, gastric sleeve cookbook. So there are going to be a few things that we're going to look at in the cookbook and we're going to make together. And I'll show you my journey to the gym and just my lifestyle. I'll do some fashion hauls, show you the more my body goes down and just showing you just being more confident. I want to be there for you. And I want to thank the people that I was able to see through YouTube and I was able to go through the journey with them. I think it's always important. Um, but I just want to thank you for watching my video. Thank you for tuning in. Um, but yes, please comment down below any questions you have. I'm free to answer um, any support you need. I'm here for you. And I just want to thank you again and have a blessed day. Thank you. Hey, 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 welcome to a very first episode of Sunday Makeup Inspiration. So while I'm doing my makeup and while you're watching, um, I'm just going to be talking about the notes that I took down from either church, either Bible study, or either the books that I've read. And today...